Good morning. It is time for me to uh, restock on my little um, shopping list. Um, I also use these um, half index cards for to-do lists and my file effects. So I have pulled out my Zutter, um, Zutter cutter and I set it to the six inch guide and then I just pop in one of these uh, four by six index cards and I don't need to use um, again I'm doing this with my other hand you just turn this wheel and it cuts it for you in half so um, I have been eyeing for a long time these half index cards on Amazon so I picked up instead this 4x6 uh, pack of 100 for a dollar. So now I have 200 of these half sheet ones. And I'm just making up a pile right here and then I will punch them with my punch so I have them all ready to go. And I'll tuck them into my little storage container where I have a lot of my Filofax things and um, they'll be ready for me. They'll be waiting for me. So I'm just going to cut a few more. I'm going to leave the rest of them. Um, at, at the 4 by 6 size because sometimes I use that as well and then I'll show you the next step for the punch so I've cut plenty for me for um, to keep um, my supply on hand um, quick and easy to use for at least the next couple of months um, and for anyone who was wondering if the Zutter cutter is precise I've just blocked off all of these cuts look at that they're pristine. The difference that you see is there were two different sets of cards, so that's why they line up with the lines diff slightly differently, but they are perfect cuts every time. And that blade that's in the machine is self-sharpening. The only thing is you need to, you can only use one, you feed in one sheet at a time. I also use that for my A5 uh, cards cutting eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper in half that way. Uh, you can do it the long way or the wide way. It's entirely up to you. So I'm going to go ahead and create these little, and I'm, because I'm an anal retentive, I like to have my card line up to the rest of the paper. So I have a very specific location where I punch this first one, and I'll show you that next. Okay, so to keep things simplified, <clears throat> I've added a marker for myself right on my punch. It just says half index, so I know that's my half index cards for my personal size Filofax. And the way I figure that out is I measured the center of the first hole is 25 uh, centimeters from the center. That's the center marker right here. However, the top of the page that aligns to the personal file effects is 22 millimeters. So I just need to go in a couple of millimeters in to line that up. And that's 14 sixteenths of an inch. So um, once I put this back on, actually, let me show you one. So I have a card. I'm going to line it up. And I like to punch this way. In. I don't have to have this open now that I have it all lined up. I'm going to line up the edge of this with the edge of the label. And that's why it helps to have that white label. And I'm just going to punch. So now this should fit nicely at the top with the top lined up to the rest of my pages. See? Nicely lined up. So that's the measurement. If you want to add a little marker on your uh, Repesco adjustable diary punch if that's what you have. Now I'm going to punch the rest of them so I can have them all on hand ready to use. So I've punched a bunch of them up and I just want to show you um, if you're not particular about the placement of the holes or alignment to the top of your personal file effects pages for these little um, half sheet index cards you can punch them any, uh, to the center. It'll just be a little higher. I, on the other hand, I'm slightly anal retentive. I like things to line up. And the reason I label this and have this guide 
And here's the test. So I did a whole bunch of them and I did three at a time. I'm going to stack them up. And here's the key. All the holes line up and they were all punched separately. So that's how I know that this little trick works. I use that for my A5 and now I use it for my half sheet um, index card. And because I am slightly ever so particular, <laughs> I also round the corners and obviously that's something that's a personal preference and what I use is the um, eighth inch um, We Are Memory Keepers corner chomper. And you can do several sheets at the same time. And that way I'll pack them away and I'll show you where I store them once I do a little rounding. So this is where I keep my little stash of my um, Repesco adjustable diary punch, um, some colored pens, my half sheet um, index cards, the full sheet on the small ones, another pack of the small ones, and then the full the little notepad. So I have everything I need right here. I also have some of these which I've shown in a uh, previous video. They're just little pockets um, and I upcycled this from diskette holders that were, um, that were a sheet and so I made individual ones to pop into my um, Philofax if I need to store something smaller. So yeah, just thought I'd give you a quick overview of how I create my little half sheets with the punches and how to label your Repesco punch. Easy peasy. I don't mind leftovers when they're this delicious. So it's the exact same thing I had for dinner last night. But I have plenty left over that um, Paulie can even have his portion because he didn't eat it last night. He just had a root beer float of all weird things. And because I'm not feeling good, he brought me home a cherry Pepsi. So that's what I'm having for lunch today. Giant bowl of salad with some of the salmon salad and cured olives. And my favorite nutty, nutty ponzu, um, which is the ponzu nutritional yeast and uh, peanut oil. So easy, so delicious, so satisfying.